Why everybody is wrong about Kate Middleton being a social climber. Meghan Markle is often dragged through the media for being a social climber. Now, some people are saying Kate Middleton is the bigger social climber. Why do fans of the royal family feel the need to argue over which duchess is better? Supporting women should mean supporting all women. But let's take a look at their argument. Is Kate Middleton really a social climber? Does it even matter? How Kate Middleton and Prince William met? Kate met Prince William when they were both attending St. Andrews University. The pair were introduced through mutual friends, but the magic didn't happen until William saw Kate walk down the runway in a charity fashion show. Kate wore a see-through, black mesh dress. The prince turned toward his friend and whispered, Wow, Kate's hot. From that point on, he began to pursue her. Why some say Kate Middleton is a social climber. In a video circling Twitter, royal commentator Elaine Lewihumini in the comments claim is an own Meghan supporter, claims Kate is the real social climber. If we're talking about royal social climbing, it's not just Meghan Markle, she said, before launching into a long list of reasons why Kate pursued William. Most of what she said is unverified. Like claiming Kate switched schools to get closer to the prince and then stopped hanging out with her common friends. Kate did change schools, but we don't know her reasoning. And many say the timing just doesn't add up. Kate would have had to make her final school decision before the palace announced which school William would be attending. The claim that she doesn't spend time with people outside the royal circle is false as well. Kate has a large group of friends many who she has known since school. Why the whole social climber argument is silly. It doesn't appear that Kate spent a whole bunch of her time pursuing William. She probably did find him attractive, who can blame her for that, but she didn't follow him around like many of the other girls did. It wasn't until William began pursuing her that their romantic relationship began. Even so, what if Kate had been the one to pursue William? Would that really be such a big deal? Many women make the first move in a relationship and we usually don't bat an eye. Some say it's because she wanted to be a part of the royal family, but many people are attracted to power it's human nature, especially for a woman to be attracted to a powerful man. That's biology. Nobody forced Prince William to marry Kate. So what if Kate was first attracted to William because he was the prince? She didn't force him to marry her. They have to truly care about each other to make it through the ups and downs of a relationship. It may have started from an attraction to royalty, but you can't build a successful relationship on that. Kate has been married to William for eight years and they have three children, yet they still seem very happy. If all Kate wanted was to be a part of royalty, she would have grown sick of it by now. With all the pressure that public life brings, we would see some cracks. The same goes for Meghan. It shouldn't matter who started the relationship. It really doesn't matter if Kate or Meghan is a social climber. We think they're not. But, it doesn't make a difference in the long run. They're happy with their husbands. And that's all that counts.